Hello everyone, it's XO Man. I'm about to do something really cool and I want to share this with you. I am about to have a very special treat that I enjoy that I haven't had. I haven't had this in quite a while. Pickled quail eggs. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Uh, first I'm going to hard boil the quail eggs. And uh, I, used to, I used to grow quail. I used to keep quail and I had quail batteries and collected the eggs. I kept them as laying, laying quail. And uh, I don't have them on the farm any longer. So I got lucky and I found these in a store. And if you're lucky, you may have them uh, uh, in your store too. They're, they're not real cheap, that's for sure. They're, they're a little bit costly for eggs, but I really like this treat, so uh, I splurged. And let's see, it's, it's a product of the USA, which is good. These are these are grown here, and there's three, six, nine, twelve, it's fifteen per pack. So I'm going to do about thirty of these eggs. And first thing I'll show you is how I boil them, and I'll show you quickly the pickling process. And bon appetit, man! I think you'll really enjoy this if you like pickled things. So let's get going. Okay, so my water is rapidly boiling. I have enough water in the pot to cover my eggs, and we're just gonna get these in there uh, carefully without breaking them is the trick. Let's see if we can accomplish this. I think we can. I don't, want, I don't want them cooking at different rates, so I've got to move quickly here. All right, they're all in. I'll set my timer for two minutes. I'm gonna cook them about two, two and a half minutes. Everybody has a different theory on hard boiling quail eggs, anywhere from two to four minutes. Some people will cook them, start the water boiling with the eggs in the water, and the, it put the eggs in after the water begins boiling, that is, and then take them off the heat and let them sit till the water is tepid and that supposedly makes a really nice egg. But this is a lot quicker than waiting for the water to cool down. All right, <clears throat> and some people say that if an egg floats, it's a bad egg. That's not always true. It's a good theory, though. Let me tell you, uh, when I raised quail, uh, some years back I had I hatched them out myself in an incubator and man what a wonderful process that is to experience and I kept the quail as I said in a quail battery which is upright quail cages that have troughs where the eggs can roll down and then after a while I let all the quail free on my farm I just let them out turned them out so that they could go into the woods and populate the area with quail and that worked really nicely and here and there were never quail there now here years later I hear them in the woods there around around my farm so that's a really nice that's a nice experience I want to quickly get the water out of this pot I have I have one egg that, that burst in the boiling process and so I'm going to enjoy that without pickling it. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take vinegar and soak the eggs in that. I'm just going to put this over the top of the eggs. It's just some white vinegar. So we're gonna let them sit for about three hours. And you can see the exterior is already bubbling. Now you can see quite a bit of movement going on there and bubbling, isn't that, isn't that amazing to watch? Um, those are the bubbles bursting and causing the eggs to rotate as they lose balance with the bursting of the bubbles. And the, the bubbling is happening because the uh, calcium in, in the eggshells react, is reacting with the acid and the vinegar. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do 
You just rinse them. Yeah, they look dirty. Isn't that amazing? So <laughs> what's, what's happening now is the shell is dissolved and it's just a membrane. Can you see me pushing that in? It's just a membrane. That's all that is. And we're just going to peel those off. So let's see. Let's go ahead and rinse those. Pretty, pretty nasty, huh? Yes. Not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing how it just melts off the, the shell. Yeah, isn't that something? All right. What you want to do is just pinch the pocket on the on the fat end. There's a little air pocket oh, yeah. there, just kind of. Yeah, you got it. Now that's just membrane, you see? That's really when cool. When you get good at this, you, you can move along pretty quickly. You can just throw those in the can there, or wherever. Isn't that awesome? That is really neat. Mm -hmm. I love it. This is a lot easier. That's a lot easier than the... Uh, let me see it. That is a lot easier than peeling shells off of these eggs. A lot. Because you tear the eggs up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So let's get these all peeled and we'll uh, we'll pickle them. Well, this one has a little bit of shell on it. Has it? Kind of. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, really, the shell is just rubber. It turns rubbery. Yeah. You, uh, you didn't see any dissolved shell in there. You can just see a little bit. Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 That can't be good. <laughs> Ooh, there are quite a few of these. Yeah. Hey, it takes a little while, but it's a treat that's well worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very, very enjoyable treat. We're going to make them pretty with beets. One of my favorites. Yeah. We're going to put a little chunk of beet in there. Pink them up a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now I want to show you something interesting here. Hmm. They have in this packaging, they have uh, scissors for the end of the quail egg. So you don't have to pinch it with your hand. Uh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to do half and half. This is a cup and a half of vinegar and a cup and a half of water. I'm using this old Bloody Mary mix jar. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's way too much. Uh, <laughs> too much water? I, I didn't, I didn't do my, I didn't do my math, but I was making a 50-50 solution. We'll just use, that's okay. We'll just use that for some, for extra. All right, now let's start popping those in the jar. Maybe I'll rinse them first. Mm, I don't think it's necessary, but you can. Mm. Don't have to be careful with them anymore. Mm -mm. All right, that's what I like is 50-50, vinegar and water. Yeah. And vinegar now, the, the nice lady in the bikini has brought me some organic beets. Chop those up and put those in for a little color. Now, some people like to grate the beets, but I like pickled beets. Me too. Don't you? Love them. Flowing down over the eggs. Mm, oh, wow. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Beet blood, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to flavor them. Look at that, let's see. Uh huh. Um, I like to flavor when I do green beans. I like to keep my uh, spaghetti jars, by the way. This is a ball jar, spaghetti top. Uh, but I flavor them with jalapenos and red crushed red pepper and. And uh, garlic mm, and salt yeah. and pepper and things. But with the eggs, we're just going to do the beets. Simple. And, yeah, and some salt. 
and the, the vinegar and salt is going to be the, the main flavor. So about a teaspoon and a half of that Himalayan. Put a smidge more for good measure. <laughs> okay. Now. Let's see what that looks like. Is that not a wonderful presentation, uh, people? When can we eat them? <laughs> <laughs> not very soon. No, how long? Maybe about day? four days. Four days? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the beans, you wait five days. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait a few days and try one. Okay. How long did it take for the shell to go away? Three hours. Go away. Three yeah. hours. Yeah. That's pretty quick. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, that's it for our little, little beet. We'll or show them to you before we eat them. Quail egg demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Pop them. Yeah. <laughs>